Before we get into this next video, there's just a small bit of business I need to take care of. It concerns the argument field and the SSE edit setting that we did for Mod Organizer 2. So let's take a look at that. So click on the gears here, configured executables. Let's look at uh, SSE edit and argument field here. Uh, this is actually done incorrectly. What we want is actually um, the file path has to be in quotations. So quotation at the end quotation at the beginning in front of the um the drive letter that we're using and we want to keep that dash it should be dash c i'm gonna do capital c dash c quotation mark the drive letter that you're ins uh, installing on and uh yeah here so this is what it should look like so go ahead and make that this adjustment real quick before we get into the next video okay moving on click apply Hey, good to see you. Welcome back. All right, in this video, we're going to clean the Bethesda ESMs. But before we start, you might be wondering to yourself, um, if, especially if you're new to Skyrim modding, uh, why is that necessary? Why is uh, cleaning an ASM a thing? Well, let me go ahead and explain it real quick. And it's actually explained very well here. Uh, we get the modification process by altering some of the vanilla game files. Bethesda, like a number of modders, have created unintended duplication of records in their DLC files. These records are referred to as identical to master records or ITMs. In most cases, these are not inherently game breaking and usually can be ignored if one is playing a mostly vanilla game. For a heavily modded game, however, they can have un undesired effects. Another issue, and that and one that is far more serious, are deleted records. These can cause crash to desktop, otherwise known as CTD, errors, and should always be cleaned from plugin files. Both ITMs and UDRs exist in the Bethesda DLC content files and will need to be cleaned. Please note the process described below is universal to all mods uh, that need cleaning, so will not be repeated for any other mods that require cleaning throughout the guide. And what she's saying here is, um, when she tells you to clean a mod, this is what she means, and these are the steps you're going to take. Um, it may sound complicated, but honestly, it's not. And you'll see that it's actually very easy. Um, this video will be useful for anyone that wants to know how to clean uh, Bethesda ESMs um, using SSC Edit Quick Auto Clean. And especially if you need to know how to do this through uh, Mod Organizer 2. So for those of you with Lexi's Guide, you're in the right place. And those who are just sort of just stopping by to know how to learn how to clean with as ESMs, you're welcome as well. Beneficial to both of us. All right, so first things first, cleaning instructions, create a backup of the original files. Uh, what this means is the original ECMs, just in case um, for whatever reason you need to load up uh, the un unadulterated versions of these files. So we're gonna back those up. Gonna minimize my mod organizer there. And those of you who have been following my guide probably have a link to this, but you need to go to the, um, the Skyrim folder. So here's my link to the Commons folder or Steam library. Go into the Skyrim Special Edition, go into data, and we're gonna um, back up the .esm. So Skyrim and update. And also uh, all the DLCs, Dongar, Dragonborn, and Hearthfires. So uh, she's just saying um, back these up and put them in a safe place. Um, I like to keep everything pretty close. So I'm gonna create a new folder here and I'm just gonna call it backup. Simple as that. And then click on Skyrim.esm, control click on update.esm, and control click on Dongar, Dragonborn, Hearthfire. I'm right clicking, and I'm gonna copy, go into the backup folder, and paste here. There, we have effectively backed up the original Skyrim.esm files. All right, we can go and close this out. All right, the game files contain ITM UDR records and require cleaning. Start mod, mod organizer 2. Done. From the drop-down menu and executables menu, we're going to collect a uh, quick auto clean. So from the drop-down here, go down to SSC edit auto uh, quick auto clean and click run. All right, in the file selection menu that appears, that's this. Check the box next to update.esm and no other files. If any additional files need uh, loading, Xedit will automatically load them. So you'll see, like when we get to Dongard, it'll automatically uh, load update for us. Click OK. Xedit will now run the cleaning process automatically. Wait for the process to complete, indicated by the appearance of the message, quick auto clean mode finished. When the message has appeared, I'll close Xedit by clicking on the X in the title bar of the application right here. 
and repeat steps two through eight for Dongard, Hearthfire, and Dragonborn. But yeah, that's basically it. That's what you do. So you execute SSE edit quick auto clean, choose the plugin you want to clean, and click run or OK, and then just wait, let it do its thing. See what it means? Very easy. Yeah, these guys who create these tools for Skyrim modding, man. Jeez, they deserve all the recognition and support you guys can give them. Some of you have probably noticed that we're not cleaning Skyrim.esm because how can you have an identical to your reference? Your reference is your reference. So Skyrim.esm is not something you're going to clean. Um, yeah, and it says all right here. If you attempt to clean it, it's going to corrupt it. So we're cleaning everything but Skyrim.esm. Which is funny because I think I backed up Skyrim.esm. Yeah, whatever. During this process, it's probably going to take a little bit of time and you might think your system is hung or whatever, but it doesn't. It didn't. And you know this because you can look up here and you can see the process records going, elapsed time ticking away. And you'll know uh, you're done when you get the message quick, clean, mode finished. It'll be right here. That's where the message is going to show up. And there we go. Right there it says quick, clean, mode finished, background loader finished. We are done. So all we do is close it out. Very good. And now we're going to repeat that exact, that exact same steps with Dawnguard, Hearthfire, and Dragonborn. So make sure we got SZ at a quick, a quick auto clean uh, chosen right here. Click run. Now from here, all we're going to click is Dawnguard. Click OK. See, it automatically uh, checked update for you. And let it do its thing. I think update.esm is the one that takes the longest. It's the, by far the largest DSM. And uh, these shouldn't take as long. All right, there we go. Quick, clean mode finished. Going to X out. And let's do it again. Click run. And now we're going to select Hearthfire. This should be very quick. OK. All right, there we go. That was very fast. Quick, clean mode finished. X out. Click run again. And now, Dragonborn. Okay. All right, there we go. Quick, clean, mode, finished. X that out. And there you have it. Ultimately, that's how you clean uh, .esms, .esps, all that. Um, for this next up here, it says, Dongar.esm requires manual X-edit cleaning in addition to the automated cleaning. Um, cleaning might be a little bit misleading. There's some changes that were made that, uh, um, that weren't meant to be made. And we need to uh, revert the changes or fix the changes that the uh, that the, the changes that were made that shouldn't have been made. <laughs> uh, cleaning entails that something was left over that wasn't meant to be left over. But um, yeah. Anyways, this is how you do it. From drop down executables menu, we're, this time we're gonna do SSE edit, and this is this is gonna be our very first taste of really using SSE edit. A great tool. Click run. All right, from here. We're gonna right click, select none, and we're gonna select Dawn Guard only, and then click OK. And now we get to see after uh, that argument that we entered for the cache, the SSE edit cache, whether it's gonna be in the overwrite or if it actually did put it in the um, SSE edit tool folder. All right, so just let it uh, run until it's done. Run until it's done. All right, background loader finished. All right, let's go step by step. All right, so we're, we're now on step seven. So we're gonna click the, uh, this here to expand it. Uh, step eight, locate the plus sign next to the cell. That's right here, go and click that. And now we're gonna press next to, and uh, now we're gonna uh, click next to block five, sub block three. Okay, then we're gonna locate uh, the record 0016BCF. It's easy to see because it's the only one that's highlighted in pink here. We're gonna click on this and the change that we're gonna make. Let me go ahead and maximize this to demonstrate fully what we're doing here and the reason why we're doing it. So you will see here in Skyrim.esm, the base game, uh, we have this record here for the encounter zone, but then there was an update by Bethesda that removed that record. And then when Dawn Guard came out, it mistakenly uh, reintroduced this record that was removed. So we're basically correcting that mistake. And to do that, we're going to click Remove. 
Uh, it's warning you. Do you want to? Are you sure? Yes. Okay, now let me go ahead and move this right back over here. Then I'm going to go ahead and close this. So now we're going to block two, sub block one. And now we're referring to the CW guard templates. And uh, it's saying to delete this entire column. You could either right click here and click remove, or you could actually click, click the record here, making sure that you're in the dongguard.esm. Right click here and remove. But let's follow the guide and do it from here. Right click on Don Guard and remove. Yes. All right. And now we're going to go to block eight, close up block two. So this is step 15, go into block eight, sub block one, and we're moving this entire sub block. So we're going to right click on it and remove. Yes. And that's it. We're going to close it out. Click OK. Now we're going to create a new mod in MO2. With all cleaning now completed, we will make these clean files into their own separate modification and restore the original files to the Skyrim directory. This will assist in future proofing your clean files for the inevitable Bethesda CC updates that would overwrite your clean files with the original version. So, since um, these .esms aren't managed directly by MO, because they're in the Skyrim uh, directory. Um, we're going to move the, the ESMs from the Skyrim directory and uh, basically import them into the MO uh, mod organizer environment. And then the backups that we created, we're going to put back into the Skyrim directory. That way, the cleaned ESMs from uh, mod organizer 2 will overwrite the, those, um, those uh, the original untouched ESMs, but the process that they just stated here. This will assist in future proofing your clean files for the inevitable Bethesda creation club updates. So let's do that. Okay. It says here to create a new folder by like going into uh, uh, Mod Organize 2 Mods folder and creating a new folder called Clean Vanilla ESMs. So, what uh, the guide is uh, telling you to do is go into your mod folder, go into Mod Organizer 2, go into Mods, then create a new folder here. And then calling it. Um, clean to vanilla ESMs, but honestly, there is a better way, in my opinion. What you would do is, from Mod Organizer 2 here, you would click on the little tiny wrench spinner here, and we're going to create an empty mod, and we're going to call it Clean Vanilla ESMs. Control C, Control V, okay. So that's an empty folder. I'm going to go ahead and open this up, just to have it ready. Minimize Mod Organizer. Go into, your, uh, into the Skyrim folder in your Steam library. Come on. Oh, it opened up over here. That's stupid. Okay, go into Skyrim Special Edition, into data, and now click on, control click on update, Dawnguard, Dragonborn, Hearthfire. Not Skyrim.esm. <laughs> now we're gonna cut these. Cut and paste it here into our now, into the empty folder. Boom, there we go. Now go into your backups, wherever you put your backups. I'm just gonna delete Skyrim.esm. I should have backed that up. All right, then cut and paste it into your data folder in Skyrim Special Edition. Paste. And I'm gonna delete my backup folder. Boom. Close that up. Close that up. Go back into Mod Organizer 2. And then I'm gonna drop down in the wrench and spanner and click Refresh. There. And now we're gonna check that box. And you can see here, these uh, gray lightning bolts means that these are technically redundant. These are the cleaned um, .esm, are not the clean. These are the um, vanilla ESMs and our clean ones are overriding them. So this is what you want to see. And there you go. And that is how you clean the Bethesda.esm um, plugins. So let's see what this. With this process complete, we are now able to run Skyrim through Steam, resulting in a completely vanilla experience. Who would want to do that? But we can, we can do that. Uh, run Skyrim through uh, Mod Organized 2's vanilla Skyrim profile. It's right there, but once again, uh, why would we want to do that? For troubleshooting, perhaps, but yeah. And then run Skyrim through Modern Organs 2, Legacy of the Dragon with Special Edition profile using SKSE. Resulting in SKSE, SKSE enables Skyrim using clean vanilla assets. From this point forward, unless otherwise noted, it will be assumed that you will always start Skyrim using this third option. Legacy of the Dragon with Special Edition, SKSE, run. Also, you can create a shortcut 
to toolbar, desktop, start menu, whatever you want. Having done all that, you'll probably notice that there's a little indicator here, this notification. Let's see what it says. There are files in your overwrite and directory. Surely, surely it is not the SSE edit cache that we spoke about earlier. Let's check. Close this out. Here's overwrite right here. Click, right click on it. Open an explorer. Oh, backups. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, it backed up the SMs when we changed it, but we don't need this. And the guy didn't refer to this, so we're gonna get rid of it. So just right click here and we're gonna clear it. Clear overwrite. Boom. There we go. Notification's gone. Overwrite is nice and clean. All right, that concludes this video. I thank you guys for uh, joining me for this ride, and I appreciate the trust you're putting into me. I look forward to uh, hearing about your success, and I hope you're having a good time. All right, I'll see you in the next video, in which we're going to tackle Beth I and I, or Bethany, or whatever that's called.